Do you want to turn your raw data into stunning, actionable insights? In this video, you'll learn how to transform your financial data into comprehensive and insightful Power BI like dashboards in minutes using AI. I'm now inside uh, Zebra AI. This is our AI driven analytics autopilot. To get started, you first need to connect a data set to analyze. If you click on this button right here, Zebra AI lists your Power BI data set. So first you'll select the workspace and then you select the data set you want to connect to. So we'll choose the regional performance. So before we do that in this Power BI tab, I just want to show you more details about this data set. So this is your typical dashboard of product sales in Power BI. So we have some product and we're looking at the sales performance over different dimensions like the clients, products, channels, the regions, etc. And we see it's a bit cluttered. There's different colors being used in different contexts. And it's not also immediately evident if our sales performance is good or bad. So now let's connect to this data set in Zebra AI. So we're actually going to enter DAX query to retrieve the data. So this is a powerful way to get exactly the data you want Zebra AI to analyze. And we're going to paste in a query I've prepared in advance. So this query looks maybe a little complex at first, but it's just a simple list of columns that we're interested in from the data. And it's actually generated automatically in Power BI from just a few clicks. So this whole DAX query. Now, when we execute this query, we can see the results in this preview window. We got some data. Uh, we have like a date time column. Uh, we have a few dimensions so let's say the regions the channel the different product groups and so on as well as three measures so the cost profits and the sales and we see we have around 8000 records so everything looks great so let's start so we'll just click on analyze this data all right so now the magic starts happening so the system will try to understand what's going on and generate a summary. You know, this data set is from the sales domain. It will try to understand uh, what is going on and what could be some interesting things to analyze. Uh, then it's going to try to interpret the different columns in the data, understand what those mean. Then it will start performing various different data analyses using statistical and AI assisted algorithms, which will try to search for interesting patterns. It will try to drill down into some interesting data points, and explore those. And then finally, it starts planning the dashboard. So now, Zebra AI has generated a dashboard for us just like that, completely automatically from the moment we drop the data in. So all the variances were calculated. We can see single highlights as well as difference highlights, you know, annotations and chart titles were generated and so on. So the colors are consistent. We can see immediately what's doing well at, and what isn't. Uh, so it unlocks these key insights that weren't apparent before in that Power BI dashboard. And just to emphasize, if you remember, the data set we connected didn't even have columns for like this year and previous year uh, sales or profits, but the system automatically created them and made comparisons this year to last year. And in the first chart, even aggregated these measures by month automatically. And you probably know how many hours this can take to prepare the model in Power BI just to get the columns and calculations visualized the way you want them to. Um, more importantly, you might have noticed we immediately see that we have a big drop in sales here in June uh, compared to last year. And let's say we want to visualize this with a slightly different chart uh, to see the impact a bit better. So because this is Zebra BI charts under the hood, is just as simple as clicking on the chart slider button. And just like that, we have a waterfall chart. And now we see we have some red here. And we can easily zoom into it with the axis break feature. And now let's say we also want to see the absolute value in the variance label in June. And again, we can just click here. And now we see it immediately. It's, it's right there, so minus 2.2 million. We can also switch to a variance chart, which makes variances even more obvious, or um, now for the first time ever, also the area chart. Let's now look at the second chart. It's a breakdown of the sales by the region. 
And we can see the central region is actually here in the green. So the third chart here is actually breaking down these countries in the central region. And to see more details about this calculation, so the filter here applied is, you know, the region is set to central. We can click on this button right here, which will open new window, which will show you additional data slides that was actually visualized and some more additional information so we can verify that the computations performed uh, were correct. Also, we have automatically generated advice and summary, which summarizes the findings of the dashboards and tries to give pointers on what might make sense to look into or to do from a business perspective. Let's say we now want to really see what happened in June. And it's actually just as simple as writing a question uh, here in the chat box using a natural language, or even better, we can immediately see that Zebra AI actually generated a suggestion for us, found this outlier and is giving us a suggestion. So I'll just click on this and the system will try to analyze our question, then try to select the right analysis to perform, try to formulate a sensible answer based on those results, and maybe even draw some additional charts as we see this was actually the case. Now let's look at these results. The system actually drilled down as we see into June and showed us some results. So we can see we lost a lot of revenue in this top client group, as well as in the East and South regions in June. So we might want to explore that further again and see what are the drivers of that. So once you're done with your analysis, you might want to share it with other stakeholders in your company. So currently we have the option to export the report into PowerPoint or Excel, again, with just one click. All right, I'll download Excel as well. In the meantime, I'll show the PowerPoint. If we open this presentation, we are greeted with a title slide and it even includes an AI generated title as well as an executive summary uh, of the report. The other slides contain the dashboards with all the charts and the whole chat context and additional advice and summary is present right here in the notes. If we look at the Excel workbook, we'll also see it has all the charts and the corresponding data slices pasted in sheet by sheet. 